All right, uh, welcome to our second sit down of the day. Uh, I actually knew the guy's name, but uh, when I saw the hair, not like I'll trim for the hair, but when I look at my own hair, I forgot his name also. Uh, this is not fair. What kind of life is this now? Uh, yeah. uh, 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 that was just what was going on in my head. But then, of course, we've got Slim Stino in the house. It's great to have you, hip hop artist. Yeah, thank you. Um, pure hip hop artist. But then he had yeah. to put. You have to make some official. You can't. You can't just be pure in this hour, Nigeria. I'm not. Yeah, of course. You'll be like, uh, what's his name again? Mode ten. Mode, mode <laughs> nine. Some number. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Great to have you, Slim Stino. You're thank welcome. You. Yeah, thank you. I do. Richard, you should be the one. Yeah, 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 yes, should be the one talking about it, not me. <laughs> yeah, what the, the style is called too. Okay. Um. Well, it's like I can start by saying the inspiration came from most of my rappers. Going back to Kendrick Lamar, you know, his dreads from the breathing and stuffs. Apart from Kendrick, looking back to Michi Darko in the Flatbush Zombies. Mm. One great rapper Flat also. Flatbush Zombies. Flatbush Zombies. Bush. Yeah. I thought I had boobs. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Oh, so no. Go no. ahead. Go ahead. Uh. Flatbush Zombies, yeah. So I had that inspiration and. Talking about this hair, most artists and rap, they actually feel maybe it's quite more of um, a feminine thing to keep a hair like this. But no, this yeah. represents hip hop. And, you mm. know, as a whole, hip hop is a culture on its own, which we need to portray in so many different ways. How long have you kept this? Yeah, let's say a week. A week? Yeah, for real. Uh -uh. You sound like you've been, you've had this since you were born or something. Okay. I mean, the hair. Right. The, the hair. hair. The, the hair, hair. yeah. The hair. The hair. Oh, uh, well, so. How long has it been growing? How long did it stay to grow this much? Um, okay, I did it this way whereby I stopped sh cutting my hair, so I had to like, When you, you know, stop cutting your hair? Like, let's say, two years back. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, great yeah. to have you. Welcome. Thank you. So, what is your style of music? Um, Slim Stino, what is that name? What is that brand? What is that music that you do? What does it represent? Okay, um, you know how it goes in Nigeria these days the rap thing, the hip hop, the switching, the yeah, Olamide, sure, sure, MI, sure, Mode sure. 9. I can, like, put it this way I just choose to represent rap itself and hip hop. Every rap artist is now switching. Sorry to say this or to mention a few names like Skills. Before we know Skills, you mm. know, he was one of the representatives mm. of hip hop in Nigerian yeah, industry. Yeah, he's rap only mm -hmm. pure, right? Yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah. What he said in Shake Body. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the market. Yeah. market. That's it. You know? Every day, it's all about the market. Mm. Is it for the love or it's for the money? That's one thing you just have to know yourself. But wait, to wait. Yes. Can you? What if the, if if you stick to the rap and the money's not coming? There's Did this particular switch? video of a mode nine. He was talking about um, he had he got inspiration from a particular song, which Jay Z also he didn't say Jay Z stole his song or something. He said yeah. he got inspiration from a particular song, which Jay Z also got inspiration from. Song. But then that's another industry, and they feel the rap. But then mode nine is here, and it's not even if let's say. Wouldn't would, would, don't you think it's a bit cool to try and bend your style a bit toward people? Do you do you think you you in spite of everything you have to remain stubborn and true to your musical to your game. you know to your own style okay. without changing? Um, seriously, I wouldn't go with that. I'll have to you know add some Afro to it, and you know if you can't beat them, you join them. Okay. So why is it <laughs> no, no, I'm blaming skills. No. That's the thing, no. but. I'm just saying it will get to an extent where, you know, I'll just have to face the pure rap. But for a start, if you're an upcoming in Nigeria, if you don't have much funds to fund such rap style where you want to be like, okay, you want to represent rap seriously, I don't think you're going nowhere. I get, I get, I get your point now. Industry. I get your point. So how, how long have you been doing music? Because you said it for a starter. Yeah, for a start, I would say it all started from the church thing, like five-year-old okay. mom pushing the kids to the choir, and every Sundays we'd be like, yeah, representing church, church, church. We got to this stage where a man has to do what a man's got to do. Yeah, that word. It's, it just came naturally. Why was it the gospel? Mm -hmm. Why not gospel music? Wow. Or was it gospel that rap? Or did you start you with know, gospel? Yeah. Okay, I actually, um, let me say, started with gospel rap. Okay. Oh. And um, how will I put it? I wasn't professional in that. Like, it was just okay. um, a child's thing growing up with the youth. We just want to present. It's all about the performance. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Get, I get your point. That's I get it. your point. 
has um, your mom, your parents, have they have they supported your career after being in the choir, as in going professional? Have they supported your career? Yeah. I mean, considering your hair, when you go like this, are you see moms here and all of that? Okay, first I would like to talk about mom. Mom wasn't in support of that. Immediately she knew how it's now turning round to the circular, circular thing. Mom is like, stop this, stop this thing you're doing. I don't like it. Stop it. Every time we are rehearsing in the bedroom, like mom would be like, can you just shut that thing down and wow. face your books? You know, African parents, we all want to just go through school, mm -hmm. get a good job, cut mm -hmm. your hair. Do you understand? And the normal life circle. That's it has not changed life. You. Everything has it changed. It has changed now. When some people are seeing the money footballers are earning, they say, that's ah, it. Oh, do you like that? When um, Whiskey says something about his mother, uh, I say, see your mates. <laughs> we look at him, Whiskey. Nah, yeah, if you can, your child can play for kind of football academy. Don't yeah. take him to his school. Mm -mm. If you can play, the parents and their mind is not changing. Because like, you know, I'm all you with all the Bangkok, you work 1,000 years. This guy yeah. is a footballer one year. One year. Yeah. Buy a house for his mom. I know what that's. Then they go for it. Okay, all right. So if you it. had an option, you know, you had to, you had to go to school, right? Yeah. But then if you had an option, if you were your parent that time, what would you have, where would you have taken yourself to? Um, if I had the option, seriously, when I graduated from secondary school, I started with um, Gospel on the Beat at okay. Abuja over there. And okay. I was learning the work right under him, so I needed that favor so true that I can get to meet people and stuff. I spent like, you know, quite a couple of months there. Okay. And before you knew it, parents were like, hey, go back to school. We wow. don't want you to do this and stuff I get your like point. that. I get your Where it point. baffled me was the first day my mom had my song on Ray Power. All the way from the sitting room, she just screamed my name, I'm strong. And I, I was just mad already. She just came in and was like, before she could talk, I was like, mom, I just have to do this. This is what I do. She was like, no, no, no. I don't want to like blame you or something. I just want to encourage you. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to, we have to, I, I wish you could continue, but we have to round up with yeah. this. This is what, I like this story. This is a wonderful yeah. place to round. I mean, come on. See, just, it, the mind fight of the host, just go out there, just be successful. Just they will say, ah, time. it's my son just now. Do it. I just say one day, you ah, will make us that's proud. That's it. You are determined. <laughs> All right, great. That's All right, it. so, um, just, just, just let's uh, get to know what you, what you have out there for your fans, your latest um, offering for your fans, okay. and how to hit you up on social media okay right now um you know i'm trying to work on some new stuffs right now where i'll have to feed into the market oh. for now okay. you know if i want to like follow the pattern of likes like jesse jacks that's one of my great artists too i, oh, and okay. I love jesse jacks he decided to do his own thing like i don't want the fame or anything i just want to represent rap rap all right that's cool. just what he does right, cool. and, but for a start for me right now um, I'm working on some things that has to do with Afro and hip hop where, okay, you know, cool. for a start, I have to like get that recognition. All right, cool. First. All right, cool. So, um, how do we jump on jumps. social media and all of that? Okay, um, on social media, my Instagram, it's called at Kali, that's K H A double L and a double Y, Kali. Okay, because my native name is. Khalifa, actually. Wow. wow, that's nice. Khalifa. People be like, hey, use Khalifa as a stage. And I was like, no, we already have a Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. Khalifa yeah. You can change your own now. <laughs> it's your boy Khalifa. <laughs> Lil Khalifa. Lil Khalifa. <laughs> but still, on stage, most performers, there was some people who still be screaming Wiz Khalifa, Wiz wow. Khalifa. Like, All right. I don't know. So okay. it's just Slim Stino. And um, if you should check me on Twitter, at Slim Stino, you can check me there also. And, um, you know, Okay. Instagram, mm. everything, Snapchat, Armstrong Noel, uh, or Khalifa uh, also. All right, Slim That's Stino. Name. I don't know yeah. what will happen now when Madame entered the house and you add weight now. What <laughs> do you not change your name? Fat, Slim Stino, uh, now Fat Stino. Fat Stino. <laughs> All right. No, you can see Lil Wayne is still keeping the Leo in his name, you know. I get the kid. Uh, okay. Try, you know. <laughs> All right, okay, that's much you get today. Thank you very much. Thank Wishing you, you the best. Um, hope you. someday your mom will be like, yeah! Yeah, it's a promise. All right, it's cool. Promise. You're taking us out, right? What are you performing for us? All right, it's one of my jam I'm trying to promote right now. It's called Swags. Swag. Yeah, it's an okay. African thing that we Africa got. Like, you know. That's it. Yeah. Swags. Okay. That's it. It's Slim Steel dropping <laughs> out with some swags. Yeah. It's been the breakfast show. Thank you okay. for being a part of the show. We'll see you tomorrow. Slim right. Steel, you got your mat there. Take us out this way.